Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. I am here at the Harry Potter store in New York City. It opens up on June 3rd. So I'm gonna take you guys inside and we're gonna do a full tour of this magical store. All right guys, let's go inside. So this here is the local room. So it has a lot of like Harry Potter Store New York local merchandise. For example, this hat, Harry Potter Store New York. And in this room, this is where you see that beautiful handmade Phoenix. If you don't know about this Phoenix, it was made by the prop makers from the different Harry Potter movies. So being in America, or specifically New York, we're gonna see a lot of Makusa merchandise. Here's a really fun journal. This is a Harry Potter New York store journal, and this is $20. I really like these new Harry Potter store spirit jerseys. And these are $60 each. Check out this embossed hoodie. I think this is called embossed. $65 for this Makusa zip-up hoodie. There's an exclusive item for $60. It's the dragon clock that you see outside of the Harry Potter New York store. Other exclusive designs are these hoodies, or you can get them in shirt form for $30 and $60 for the hoodies. Here's a clear backpack for $30. So then out of the local section, we're gonna move into the house specific section, which is full of Harry Potter house merchandise and a ton of new merchandise too. So we have Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Fun, beautiful little touches. For example, the carpet. Each of the corners of the carpet in this room has a different house-specific relic. So we have Salazar Slytherin's locket, the sword of Gryffindor, Ravenclaw's diadem, and Hufflepuff's cup. So much thought, so much attention to detail was put into this room, and it is all so beautifully displayed and designed. In each of the corners of the room, there is house-specific displays up top on the shelves. So for example, we have Slytherin up here, Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor. No, better be Slytherin. And then we have Ravenclaw <laughs> up here. And Hufflepuff. Guys, the golden snitch is like moving around the room. You can hear it like in 3D sound and it's moving around the room. So there's like little interactive things like that that just happen when you least expect them. And they're very exciting. So if you come here, make sure you spend a lot of time. So here's another one of those things. The troll just rose up in front of Professor Quirrell. So just make sure you're looking at everything because magic happens when you least expect it. Now, Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the Warner Brothers Studio Tour is no longer the only place you can purchase the house-specific crew neck sweatshirts. So you can now purchase them here at the Harry Potter store in New York. And they are $60 each. $25 for a house specific hat. They sell the official Lock Haven scarves here for $45. $70 for these house cardigans. The shirt is sold separately. There are tons of new spirit jerseys here too. For example, here is a Slytherin one. All four houses, and then also just other things, like New York store spirit jerseys, and just a ton of fun stuff. Here's the front of the Slytherin one. And from what I'm seeing, they range in size from extra small to extra large. How specific pins and keychains and socks. This sock three pack is $15. Beautiful pin for $12.
How specific? Mugs, $15. And just look at this center display. Isn't this nuts? This journal here, you can purchase it as a Hogwarts journal or a house specific journal, $25. And you guys know there's a Niffler that lives inside of me. And look at this gold stitching that's so shiny. The house banners are $15. Look at this new hoodie. Is that not so cool? It looks like the label that we see on the Marauder's map, except it says Hogwarts on it. This is $60. I will absolutely be getting one of these. Is this cool? Now something very exciting about this store. All throughout the store are official props from the Harry Potter movies. So for example, right here, in the house room. Oh, the Ravenclaw diadem fell down. Guys, he's literally like touching the official prop, the Ravenclaw diadem prop. Check out this Quidditch theme ceiling, which is actually inside Central Park. So you can see the full New York skyline surrounding the edges of this mural. I mean, as you're seeing, the detail of this place is just remarkable. Little things like this, look at the robes, how they're swishing in the wind and they're just magically moving, but stationary. It's magic. All right, so now we're entering the toy section, which has a magical plants, magical creatures theme. And look what we have here, a dirigible plum tree. Up top, there are a bunch of magical creatures. We see Acromantula. Mandrakes. There are bow truckles in here. You'll even find Neville's Mimbulus Mimbletonia. So this is the room where you're gonna purchase a lot of plush, a lot of the different toys, some collectible items, games. It's an absolutely beautiful room. So in the toy section or the toy room, you see these little take a peek peep holes and inside are the bow truckles. And if you're noticing, the little peek holes are Harry's glasses. Did you know that a group of bow truckles is called a branch? I didn't know that, but I just learned that today. There are a ton of little like interactive things throughout the store, for example, here on the tree. Oh, there it goes, perfect timing. It's the Weasley's Ford Anglia, and it's stuck in the tree, but you see the headlights there. How fun is that? It's about to take off. There's tons of various plush options that start at $10 each, but let's take a look at some of those. $40 for the Niffler with a coin purse. The Demi Guys is $40. $10 for a little bow truckle. These new Chibi Plush, $20 each. The Luna Lovegood one is really fun. Owls and rats or scabbers. Crick Shanks is $30. You can purchase the Triwizard Cup for $20. This extendable ear item is very fun. $25. These new mugs are so cute. Here's an SPEW mug. And there's a little house elf on the handle. And then there's also a Niffler mug. And these are $18 each. Being in America, there's a lot of Makusa merchandise. $10 for the Makusa clock keychain. $25 for this shirt, and it ranges in size from small to extra large, and these are kid sizes. Probably one of my favorite features are the elevators, which are fireplaces. And when you press the button, 
The doors open up to the flu network. There's even a little room for baby clothes and little kid clothes. Those younger Harry Potter fans will have some Harry Potter merch to sport. How cute is this little kid shirt for $30? You're just as sane as I am. The little keeper. $30 for this knit coat with an owl delivering a Hogwarts letter. You Harry Potter fans with little kids are gonna be spending a lot of money here. $22 for this onesie. Here are house specific pajama sets for $50. And this set comes with matching pants. $60 for this Luna Lovegood themed robe. Look at this Niffler shirt for $25. $60 for house specific zip up hoodies for kids. And check out the zipper. We have the Sword of Gryffindor for Gryffindor. And then the other three have the corresponding Hogwarts house relic. So here next to the toy section where the dirigible plum tree is located is a life size cutout of Hagrid, Rubius Hagrid. And then there's a ruler to see how tall you are compared to Hagrid himself. And you stand in his boots. I think it's time for some candy, candy, candy. There's a Honeydukes themed room. Tons of different candy, a lot of which you can purchase at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now you can also purchase the chocolate frogs that we find at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Both versions, the tin version and the paper replica version. So this comes with the chocolate frog as well as one random chocolate frog card. These are $12 each and they also have the tin version for $20 and this comes with five chocolate frog cards. The four founders of Hogwarts and Albus Dumbledore. Now in this room, one of my favorite things is the butterbeer wall. There's a lot of butterbeer themed merchandise and very exciting, specific to the Harry Potter store in New York, this special Makusa butterbeer label. You can only purchase it here. You can also purchase this butterbeer bottle here, as well as a glass stein, a glass butterbeer stein, which is awesome. And this is $18. Some more butterbeer merchandise like this tote, which is only $4. That seems very reasonable. We have some pins and keychains. $10 for this pin here. I have not seen this Time Turner line by Loungefly yet. $45 for the wallet and $75 for the backpack. Now here's the first, you can actually purchase the Pottery Barn Teen Harry Potter line outside of Pottery Barn. They sell it here at the Harry Potter store in New York. Check out this beautiful Phoenix mirror, $129. All right, so then here, if we turn around, we are in the wand area. You can purchase Noble Collection wands here. The exclusive Harry Potter store wands are also here. And when we go downstairs, you can actually personalize a wand just for yourself. Here is Hermione Granger's prop from the movies. Now in the wand section, which is in the atrium, you'll find this almost like a pensieve, 
with different wands surrounding it. Now, if you grab one of the wands, it reveals the character as well as information about that character. There we have Hermione Granger, Grindelwald. Then, if we have someone on Harry Potter's wand as well as someone on Voldemort's wand, you can duel. Oh, Potter Kadabra! <laughs> the duel is on. Harry won. Harry won. Ah, oh, Voldemort is not very happy. Now for $38, you can purchase a specific character wand, or you can purchase the house wands and the special wands for $40 each. Let's take a look at those special house wands and New York store wands. There is an exclusive Harry Potter store wand, the Golden Snitch. How beautiful is this? You can only purchase this guy at the Harry Potter store in New York City. Here's some more detail, just the little name plates here. They're just so beautifully done. Now, the one wand I'm seeing here that's sad is the bow truckle specific wand. So you guys know that a group of bow truckles is called a branch. Someone should alert Newt. All right, so once we've gone through the wands, you enter what is called the Harry Potter style guide or fashion room. So it has all four houses and the items are just kind of fashion forward. They don't scream Harry Potter, which is nice. So if you're on the side of not wanting to show that you're a big Harry Potter fan, I'm not sure why. But if you don't want to, this is gonna be the room for you. So this is kind of like more of an adult Harry Potter fan section. $40 for these house specific backpacks and I'm loving the little charm that is on each of the zippers You have the Hogwarts founders relic $30 for these t-shirts and they range in size from extra small to 2xl for $60 they have a pullover hoodie and we finally have another house specific crew neck these are $55 the hats are $25 Here's a very cozy zip-up hoodie for $65. Very soft. And it features the Hogwarts house on the sleeve. Check out these brand new Hogwarts house specific varsity jackets. They are $150 each. And look at that stitching on the back. $15 for the house specific mugs. There are new pens and journals as well as new keychains and pins specific for your Hogwarts house. And then from this room, you enter the Butter Beer Bar. Now I'm just showing you a quick overview of this room because I'm gonna do a full video on the Butterbeer Bar and we're gonna taste and try everything. So then from the Butterbeer Bar, you can get into the checkout area and there are a lot of fun little things that you can add on while you're waiting in line. And then the checkout area leads back into the atrium, which is where we find the Griffin. All right, we're going downstairs to the next floor, but before we do that, I wanna show you these railing posts. It's the different character wands. So like right here we have Queenie's wand, Ron's wand on this side. Let's take a little look around these different railings and check out all the wands.
here we are guys the bottom floor aka the cellar even the railing post wands here are darker so we have Grindelwald's wand as well as Lord Voldemort's wand So on this floor, this is where you're gonna find the personalization items. Uh, robes are down here, as well as some sweaters, um, jewelries here, collectibles, and then the Mina Lima store section is here. It's the first one in America, and it's currently the only place that you can buy all Mina Lima stuff in one room or location. There's also a book room, which is beautiful. Wait till you see that. And then of course, a more dark arts section. Over the jewelry section is this giant time turner. Now in this display case here, they have collaborated with Swarovski Crystal to create some really beautiful pieces. They come in this cute little Hogwarts trunk. And they're packaged like this. Very, very nice. And then in this display case, you can purchase Alex and Annie jewelry. There's a wall of noble collection items. And this right here is one of the golden egg props from the films. For $85, you can purchase the Lock Haven Mrs. Weasley sweaters for both Ron and Harry. And you can also purchase Neville's sweater for $90. And then the Hogwarts house sweaters are also $70 and also made by Lock Haven. If you don't know Lock Haven, Lock Haven is the company up in Scotland that made all of these sweaters for the Harry Potter films. So here is the room where you can personalize a lot of fun things, including the Tri-Wizard shirts. And when it comes to customizing the Tri-Wizard shirts, it's included in the price and that is $40. Something that I've not seen before is you can personalize the different wands. So for example, here is Severus Snape's name etched into Severus Snape's wand. And this is a $10 upcharge to customize a wand. What's cool is you don't have to just have a name. You could do a spell or words like marry me. I was just told someone has done before. Very clever, fun ideas. Now also in the personalization room or section, that's where you will find the Harry Potter robes. Now, if you are looking to come to the Harry Potter store and you have not purchased your robes yet, they are $100. At Universal Studios, they're actually $125. So that's a great deal. They are talking about raising the prices eventually. So if you'd like to purchase a robe, this is the place to do it. And you can buy all of your Harry Potter items here, except for like your pants and your shirt, but you can buy your scarves, your house tie. If you're a head girl or head boy, you can purchase your badge here. And for $75, you can purchase a house cardigan, also made by Lock Haven. You can personalize your robes and embroider your name on it, and that is $10 extra. The robes range in size from extra, 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 extra small, or child size, to extra large. You can even personalize a specific house journal for yourself, and they do it in gold foiling, which is awesome. That's a $10 upcharge, or they have three different pen versions. We have Dobby, a golden snitch, and the Deathly Hollows. I have the Deathly Hollows pin right here. Included with the price for $17, you can have up to 24 characters. So on this pen here, it says Alexander. And the journals are $20. They also sell these Hogwarts trunks that can be personalized too. And this deal is, I mean, this is fantastic. Look at all these items that you get for house-specific trunks. You get the trunk and it's filled with all the different house-specific items. You get your initials on the side of the trunk, up to three letters. And look at all these fun items. This makes a fantastic Fantastic, fantastic gift. And then here's a premium option and it comes with a Mrs. Weasley sweater by Lock Haven. 
Now, if you were purchasing these items individually, you'd be paying 70 to $75 more. So this is a fantastic deal, but you also get the trunk. Now, if you just wanted the trunk, that's $100 and it includes the personalization. Again, up to three letters. Guys, I'm literally drooling over this golden snitch prop. It is stunning. All right, it's time to enter the more dark arts section, which features Nagini on the ceiling, and she will speak to us. Now this room is themed off of the Ministry of Magic. You're supposed to feel like you're here in the ministry. Each one of these tiles was hand painted. It makes an amazing, beautiful, shimmery effect. Some more props. Two Death Eater masks. The snake plush is $20. $30 for the t-shirts. For $15, you get this fun three pack. I see the night bus, platform nine and three quarters, and the Ford Anglia. Ooh, look at the mirror of Erised. A beautiful keychain for $15. $35 for this Dobby themed shirt. You can never have enough socks. It's actually a Dumbledore and a Dobby themed shirt. You'll recognize a lot of these ornaments. You can purchase most of these at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But can we take a moment to appreciate this? Marvolo Gaunt's Ring movie prop. Now you may have been seeing these little winged keys floating around. I will tell you more about that in a little while. Literally everything is so well themed, so well designed. You guys know that I appreciate stuff like that. So this is now the book section and check it out you guys. Flying Harry Potter books. I mean, who would have thunk that I needed to see flying Harry Potter books in my life? So guys, here is Jasmine. She's a Potter Collector community member. Come and say hello to Jasmine at the Harry Potter store in New York. Yes, come join me. It's amazing and everyone here is so nice. She can purchase a wide range of Harry Potter books, Harry Potter journals and pens. And here is another one of those props. I love the nod to Mary Grand Pre and her amazing, iconic chapter artwork. Incredible. And can we take a moment to appreciate this archway of magical books? Now something that's very exciting about the books, they have special Harry Potter store stickers on them. So, being the Potter Collector, I'm gonna have to get a brand new set with these stickers. And then connected to the little book section room is a... Oh, this is Platform 9 and 3 quarters? No. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's Platform 9 and 3 quarters. So all Platform 9 and 3 quarters merchandise, some Hogwarts merchandise, just a nice little add-on room. And check out this spirit jersey, this Hogwarts spirit jersey. The Nifflers in us for $60 are gonna go crazy. $55 for this Hogwarts Express crew neck. $30 for the t-shirts. $65 for this zip-up hoodie. And then I've never seen this scarf before, but it has all four houses. It looks very cool for $35. And here is another prop, you guys, the Firebolt. The last room we have to check out is Mina Lima. I love that it's like a little storefront. You can purchase a ton of Mina Lima merchandise, and that's here, only at the New York City store.
incredible. The colors, the details, I mean, this shop screams magic. The whole store screams magic, but this shop specifically is just pure magic. I mean, they even have the Mina Lima wallpaper on the wall. So this is the black family tree. I mean, you can buy postcards, Mina Lima prints, original Mina Lima prints, like for example, the egg from the first task. This is a limited edition print you can purchase here. Now, a lot of people don't know, Mina Lima actually designed most of the Harry Potter props too, like Ravenclaw's diadem, Slughorn's Hourglass, Hermione's Time Turner, and they have prints of those different props here at the Harry Potter store. The note cards are $5 and they are either gold foiled or kind of interactive, like this one here is lenticular. How cool is that? Special notebooks for $10 and $18 for these. And for $110, you can actually purchase the wallpaper. Use the Marauder's Map. Speaking of the Marauder's Map, look at this floor. And most of the prints you can purchase in a standard version or a premium version. The standard versions are not foiled or signed, whereas the premium versions are foiled and signed. Some more note cards, also lenticular. These are amazing. I mean, take a look at these things, like the mass breakout from Azkaban. Not only are these beautiful and would make fantastic cards for someone that you know loves Harry Potter, they would look great framed too, like little framed clippings of newspapers. You can purchase packages of these note cards for $12. There are 20 of them here. They're not gold foiled, but still very cool. Even Mina Lima gift wrapping. And if someone is ever feeling really, really generous, I think it's like $2,000 or $1,000 or something, you can get a custom handwritten Hogwarts letter by Mira Fora Lima herself. And when you're ready with your purchases, here is the checkout room with a wide variety of fun items that you can purchase on your way out. Like these refrigerator magnets for $8 a wide variety of totes. You'll find a ton of pins here, and keychains, and lanyards. There's a little Luna Lovegood section. All right, so those winged keys I was telling you about that are located under each of the props. This is a fun interactive thing where you go and search for different letters that create a Harry Potter related word. If you can create that word, you get a special prize after you finished it. So what you're gonna do is download and open up the Harry Potter app and scan this little circle. This reveals that we found a secret item a wand, so we're gonna click view more, scroll down, it's gonna give you information about this item, and then it reveals a letter. This is an O, so once you've collected all the letters, it creates a word, then you bring it to the front and collect your prize. The seller! Amazing. I mean, whoever came up with this idea for the elevator to turn it into a fireplace and the flu network, you're a genius. So then you take the flu network down to the seller. I hope you guys enjoyed this store tour of the new Harry Potter store here in New York City. As you saw, it is just beautiful. Everything was done perfectly. They were so meticulous with all the details. It's beautiful. You guys have got to come here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?